Okay. So today, because of the lack of space, first I want to mention that this, if you take the, this info first, standard algorithm is always the required. Okay. And uh, some of you have already asked me for the uh, range. For the range, the best is into limits to the age header file. Limits to the age and flow to the age header files. And if you include this and then you can, this is the, I have the complete example in your reflect the range of this, it will be automatically linked to me. See, this is a, how, how, why, why it is making capital? See, C is always a case system. Most of the C, we always use the program lower case letter. Whenever it is an upper case letter, that means it is probably constant or probably defined at the header file. So, whenever you see this kind of thing, definitely this is included in the header file limits dot h. So what? Whenever the compiler directives, whenever it's a hash in group, if you just see it for your curiosity, just go there in the appropriate place. And this is called the angle bracket. Left angle bracket, right angle bracket. It is, it is mirroring in your directory. If you want to put any file in your directory, then you have to put like this, my file, my file dot h. This is the include, hash include. Hash include. This is the code. That means it defined that the same directory in your dot c file. There it is the, this thing. But that is not recommended. All the header files should be in appropriate place. That is the reason this angle bracket is there and you put it. So this is in case you need a header file and in case even you have to directory, then you can use this kind of header file. is nothing but you define your constant, your other things. Okay. Now here everything is uh, range I have included and size of is a function which is de defined between the standard io.h you will be this and return 0. So whenever you go to return 0 and then when you always ask a question what is the different what is the different between return 0 and exit 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 what is the difference between return 0 and exit anybody can come up return 0 is a normal termination and exit means you are just going to the cell going to the system. Return 0 means if your function, if you call a function, that function comes automatically to the other function, calling function. But exit means it will abruptly exit the, all the programming and go to the system. So this is not recommended. So, but sometimes, yes. Sir, it will remove yeah. the window, like it will remove the output window or yeah. then exit or something like no, that. No, it is always preferable, always preferable return 0. But Whenever there is some exception of us, what is exception I can do? Because exception is basically concept came later after C. What is exception? There are many kinds of error can be there. One error can be hardware error, your CPU, ECC RAM error, CPU disconnection, your power may back off. So these are the error conditions. This you can handle. But the other error condition that is soft concept, that is integer divided by zero. So you, you program us. Unknowingly divide by zero. That is generally called exception. So generally, any any error in the program that means what the error will happen? The program will abruptly stop. And the error are two types. One is hardware error. Probably you cannot do anything. But nowadays it is a like we have a cloud and all these things. We have a backup and another hardware to be running. There, so if any hardware falls, other hardware will take over. So this thing can be in the cloud setup can be done, but not in at your machine. If the machine some this is you cannot do. Another is another is software error. Software error. There maybe divide by zero error. Divide by zero error. So this kind of error that you see is very, very poor. So if any C function you write it. Return zero, that is everything is okay and return zero. If you find if you want to write a, a file, next day we go to the file and write a file and your disk is full. So then the your file pointer will not come up. Then you have to come out with not error return zero. Maybe return one. And you have to define one thing that you cannot write. So everything in C you have to write your this error condition. And in software error can be can be generated from anywhere. Maybe your logic can be better. You, I'm going to be your, I will compare with say with the forty point number 
zero or something. If partition, you compare it to zero. In computer, there is no zero at all, particularly in real number. So there is zero means point zero 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 one or point. Zero, uh, zero, zero, zero. Yeah, it is. It is no zero. If you, so if you compare in if partition, if you do, if you compare with integer with zero is okay. But if you unknowingly you take a floating point number and compare with zero, and that condition will never true. Because zero is any real number represents zero is impossible. Are you getting? So that is the thing. So there may be unknowingly there are some errors, and these are called exceptions, and it can be beautifully handled by the Java, Python, even C. But the problem is C, this thing is not thought of at that time. So, so but you must be aware of there are some errors, but there are some other good points of C. C is basically fast, maybe 10 times, 20 times, 30 times faster than Python program. But uh, there's some need. this thing you have to take care of. So here I want to mention that we always understand in many other books you might see void. Void doesn't mean void is okay, but we prefer in that is always give return zero or return one. That is okay. So that is an understanding point. And these are the header files. It is always understand if you find something in Conaya dot h that means they have copied from the Turbo C version in DOS. It is not recommended. Okay, it is generally good books in this time. Another thing I want to mention that see here character. So this is a character greetings in the array. Hello world. So there we can this is a string type. We then another the header file string dot h and this concept I will come later. So another yes. yes. So why are you using float dot h for yeah for, for sir, float dot h why are you yeah float dot h is a
Sir, uh, yeah. like like minus LM, is there any other kind of switch? There minus LM switches. and minus switches. Switches. So for any uh, other header file, do we need to use any other? No, no. Only, thing only is, for math. Only only for math things. Maybe it might be other. I am not having enough. Only for matter page and another switches are there. I will com compare the debugging option. We will later say on the debugging option, there are some switches are there. So these are the two things. And now come to the main thing of the whole C is what is this beautiful that is the pointer concept. I think you know you have some ideas of pointer yes. concept. Yeah. Pointer is nothing but whenever you say int star dot i, the whole meaning change. If it is a if it is a int i and int start dot i say what is the difference int i and int start dot i who basic things a difference i will come to when the whenever c whenever you see the star function and ampersand function that you already see in the input so this means they are basically a pointer that is the chief c language strength and most quickness also because in most of the actual memory location and generally hacker and all these things they control this the program. But that means this is basically this is the at the point condition. So whenever I say this particular thing is not easy, it's a pointer. So how many data types are there? C has seven input, ten input. If you input instead of star in front, it is another two and ten data types. Twenty-four. Then C has another type that is called structure and union. You will be aware of. In general, you do not use nowadays structure. Then, if you put a structure in front of a star, there is another data type, so huge type of data type. The advantage of star is when you say in a function call, say any function call, say two is a function, the definition of the function. If you see star i and like this, that means you are passing the parameter as by reference. This is means star means whenever in a function call, this thing is by this only. If you see the star, that is you are sending a point pointer. And better option is better option is without don't use pointer as the this function. Pointer means it absolute pointer to the memory. And that is it can boost the hacker and all these things. In subsequent other languages, Python or Java, this concept is not here. But there is another concept of virtual machine. They actually work on a virtual machine. So nobody can handle it. You can add that machine with the whole machine you cannot control. But C is you can handle it in the main operating system. But C has uh, other, it's a 10 times, 20 times faster than Java and Python. More for faster. So any question please? Yeah. Any question from anywhere from previous classes? Or no? uh, yeah. For why? Yeah. 
start from the very huge number of pointers. The pointers are where they are used. Whenever I say you are making a camera, like I am taking a video, I am taking a picture, then I have to process it, some picture processing. Then I will refer the frame size, say 1024 by 768 by 2048 by something as a point. That will be faster. I will give the memory location. Good question. Any other question on pointer? Please read the pointer because you have to reveal. You have to again and again. Yeah. So, sir, uh, like there is a star pointer and an add pointer. A address is address of, like when you are taking input, when you are giving input, address of. Where now the star and place, like it will be, it will be cut it off, like our identity matrix. They will cancel it off. Or Address of and star, they will cancel it off each other. They are like inverse of matrix, A inverse, in the A inverse A, identity matrix. So they are cancelling. This is address of operator, this is address of address of, and this is the content of. And no other language will get it. This is the content of. Content of. And whenever they are together, they basically collapse and Make it like identity matrix. Like nothing has happened. Okay, so you cannot see two together. You can see another interesting question, very good. Another thing is you can see this. This is what is this? Star star i. Oh, it is a pointer, pointer to pointer. pointer. And there is no limit. There is no limit. There are maybe many star, but that is very complicated. And you can return a pointer, you can I have told you, you can pass a pointer, you can pass a pointer to pointer, you can pointer to pointer to pointer. So these are all legal expressions. Okay, so, so that will make C's understanding is tough, but C is very pretty, pretty efficient for this, very fast. Okay. Any question? Pointer? Sir, how yeah. much size does a pointer take in memory? Yeah, pointer is the address of. Pointer is, is not a, pointer is a data type, but this main is the Data type is so in front of the star. It is pointer is nothing but a address. Or even a floating point number is address is an integer. Are you getting? The floating point number is a four bytes, long is eight bytes, double maybe ten bytes, it depends on. So pointer will be that size and it will be always an integer number. It's the actual location in your memory. It is a, you should be very careful, pointer and pointer arithmetic. Pointer arithmetic always incremented or decremented. It cannot be multi, it cannot be added or it cannot be divided or it cannot be product. Two pointer at this you cannot make a product. Both they are integer. So there is exception. So it, 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 can, it can only add or minus. And there is no meaning. See, if you take a big minus, there is no meaning. There is no negative positive. Because ultimately whatever operation you do, the address should be real and that should be find, foundable at your memory location. That, that should be ultimate should be a location. And how much bytes will take it? It's a point at time. If it's integer 4 bytes, floating points, 8 bytes or 10 bytes, character is 1 byte. One byte. Character taking the character is characterless in Python. There is no character concept in Python. Because uh, C is very quickly passed there. Any question? Any question from anywhere? So, what is your job? You should move the pointer and go to the file operation. And next day, and some hilarity, we show it. Thank you very much.